Hey guys, this is RLD Shades here, and um, I'm going to try and reteach you guys how to um, make a classic shirt server and a more uh, in depth version um, and a more in depth tutorial. So, what I went and done before all this filming and stuff, I deleted Minecraft off my router, so 192.168.01 you will uh... you won't see it here, it's not here uh... so this is gonna be completely from scratch um... this is how i make my servers, this is how you're supposed to make a server but yeah, so what you're gonna want to do is open up um... your start button well now first and foremost you wanna go to the minecraft site and go click multiplayer. Um, so yeah, you see everybody's uh, awesome servers and whatnot. You want to click download the server software. So once you got that, you know, open it up, and uh, you want you're gonna have to uh, drag all this stuff here. You want to drag it into your whoop. Well, you're going to want to drag it into your classic server so that everything is organized and good and fun and whatnot. So once you have that open, you want to click the start server batch file. And after you let do a little something something, you're going to want to just let it do whatever. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of files. So after you have that opened up for the first time, you want to close it and so you can make some changes real quick so the readme here it just gives you some uh, commands you can do when you're in the admin um, this is the minecraft executable jar file you don't need that right now admins you want to go and put your name uh, your minecraft name so rld shigs is mine close that and save it um, the banned people you don't want anybody banned yet, but that's where you would you would put people you want to ban from your server in there. Uh, people's IPs, um, players is going to show up. Whoever's in your server, um, you, what you're going to have to do is go to the server properties file, not the text document. So what you're going to have to do is um, open that up, and if it doesn't open up properly, then what you got to do is open with, and then open with Notepad. So, um, yeah, you're going to have to open this up here, and uh, you're going to want to find this port right here. So, uh, actually, you, you, you could edit this stuff too. So, admin slot true, server name, RLD shigs land of epic. Max players, I only want five max connections, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to put it the same thing. The MOTD is a welcome message, so you could just be like, yo, what's up, or what's up, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't want any trees to grow, so I'm going to put that to false. But yeah, the main thing you need to know is the port, which is 25565, I've remembered it, it's not that hard. So, click save. Uh, then you're going to want to open up, uh, yeah, once you have that, you're going to want to go to your command prompt, so you click the start button and type in CMD, and then hit enter, and your command prompt will open up. And once that's opened up, you want to type in IP config, like that and then hit enter and uh, what you're gonna have to do next is find your default gateway address which mine is 192.168.0.1 and you're going to want to open it or type it up in there and I already did it so you don't see my password and whatnot so yeah it will lead you to yours will look completely different than mine probably but Usually where you need to go is the advanced area. And uh, as proof of Minecraft not being on my router anymore, it's deleted. It would be in this list saying Minecraft, but it's not. So, um, yeah. Next step you're going to 
want to have to do is open up simple port forwarding. Um, would I like to download the update now? Sure, why not? This will take a couple seconds, people. Thank you for waiting. Um, Okie dokie. Please wait. Updating. Come on, I'm trying to film a video here. Okie dokie, this looks like the last one. So, checklist. This is very straightforward. Actually, I didn't delete it off my simple port forwarding list. So, I'm going to remove the Minecraft entry just to show you what's going on. So, when you're going to have to do update your router list. You just follow this checklist. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's all good to go. Sweet. So, select your router and set login info. Do it now. Select your router from this list. Um, or you could select your router from this list. It's the same list, they look different, but this one I already chose mine. It's right here. To find out what your router is, it should be on the main page when you uh, when you are uh, what's it called? Figuring out your what's a mahigi or when you put in your default gateway into the address, you will see somewhere. I don't know. Mine's right here, so it makes my life easier. So yeah, you want to find that in this big list of shot, and then you step three, set your local IP. And start. nope, you don't need to do that for Minecraft. Choose which ports you need to forward. Uh, do it now. Add custom name Minecraft. Uh, type you're gonna want to put TCP and UDP. Um, if you don't have the double, then you have to make one of each of these. So you'll have to do this whole process twice. Six foot two five five six five and two five five six five. IP address is your IPv4 address, 192.168.0.101. And I want to add. So that's added there. Uh, a little fine and dandy. Uh, let's see right here. Next step, update the router. Do it now. Why is this doing this to me? Um, please try the following steps to fix this issue. Make sure your correct router is selected from the router list. Make sure you have the correct router IP set in the main window. Make sure you have the correct HTTP. Okay, let's just try playing around right now. I'm going to try my default gateway instead. Um, now let's update the router. Okie dokie, that's... Uh, my mistake then, uh, you do not put your IPv4 in there, you put your uh, default gateway in the router IP section, I don't know why. Um, the server 192.168.0.1 DI requires a username and password. Admin, don't worry you guys, I will block this out. Remember my credentials, okay. And now it will do everything magically for you, see? How fantastic is that? Oh, that's just amazing. It does everything for you. So, um, done, all commands finished, proper. So, let's check the ports work. Click here to begin. 25565 is online and can be reached. Excellent. So, you want to do this, and you want to do... Okay, so now my router is updated, and I have... We'll close this now, and... Now, if you take a look at my router, we have Minecraft at the bottom. Sweet. Alright, now, what you want to do is go to your classic server, and open up the Windows batch file. Uh, okay, so to connect directly to the server, surf to www.minecraft.net, 
slash play, and then it will give you a whole bunch of numbers and shit. And that stuff should be in your external URL notepad file. So, ham, you will copy that. And you will go to that on Minecraft. Bam! Remember, you have to have your batch file open at the same time or else it will not work. So now we sit and wait because Minecraft doesn't like to be recorded. So it will take a while to load. Yeah. No. Uh, how much time are we going on? Okay, 10 minutes. Not that bad. Quicker than the last time. But uh, this shot needs to just uh, hurry on and uh, do what it's doing. See? RLD Shig's Land of Epic. What's up? This is my server now. So, uh, yep, look, you can type in everything. Ryan says what's good. Um, yeah, this is your server, your classic server. Um, everlasting blocks, everything, all the colors of the rainbow, because I know that's what a lot of people play classic for. Um, back to game, woohoo, 360, okay. Um, so yeah, that's how you create a classic server. I'm sorry for the mix-up in my last video, but um, yeah, okay. Uh, any more questions, just ask, and I'll try and get back to you because I'm a nice guy. So um, yeah, later.